Do you want to live longer and with more energy? Believe it or not, some simple movements can transform your health and add years to your life. Aging doesn't mean accepting weakness or limitations. Quite the opposite. Science has already proven that with the right exercises, it's possible to regain strength, improve mobility, and feel years younger in just a few weeks. In this video, I'll share five essential exercises, recommended by experts, that strengthen the body, relieve stress, and protect you from diseases over time. No matter your age or fitness level, anyone can start today and feel the difference. Are you ready to discover how to reverse the signs of aging and invest in your health? Then follow every detail closely, because these tips are the best that doctors and scientific studies have recommended over the years. Now, before we dive into the exercises, it's important to talk about a crucial aspect that directly affects our longevity and mobility, age-related muscle loss, known as sarcopenia. This silent process begins around the age of 30 and accelerates drastically after 50, compromising strength, independence, and quality of life. What many people don't know is that this muscle loss is one of the leading causes of frailty and falls in older adults. But the good news is that it's not only preventable, it's reversible. Recent studies show that practicing the right exercises can restore muscle mass in just a few weeks, helping to improve not only physical strength but also endurance and mobility. However, it's essential to understand that not all exercises provide these benefits. Performing improper movements or using incorrect techniques can be ineffective and even increase the risk of injury. In this video, we'll explore an approach that follows what researchers call the gold standard for fighting sarcopenia. The exercises will present focus on the main muscle groups and offer variations for different fitness levels. The goal is to rebuild strength, improve posture, and ensure that you have the autonomy needed for everyday tasks. It doesn't matter if you're just starting or already have some experience with physical activity. The key is to adapt the exercises to your pace and progress gradually. So, let's begin with this incredible list that you should start applying today. First, squats. The squat is an essential exercise for those looking to maintain strength and improve mobility, especially after the age of 50. It engages major muscle groups such as the glutes, quadriceps, and hamstrings, while also activating the core and lower back, contributing to stability and balance. Additionally, it strengthens the joints and makes daily tasks like standing up from chairs, walking, and climbing stairs easier, promoting independence and preventing falls. To perform it correctly, start by standing with your feet shoulder-width apart and your arms extended in front of you or crossed over your chest. Inhale as you slowly lower yourself, bending your hips and knees at the same time as if sitting down. Keep your back straight, avoiding any rounding, and pause at the bottom of the movement. As you exhale, return to the starting position by pressing your heels into the ground and engaging your glutes and quadriceps to rise with control. If you are getting back into exercise or have any limitations, a useful variation is to use a chair. Performing slow sit-to stands, with or without the use of arm rests, helps build confidence and strength. Over time, as your capacity improves, you can add light dumbbells, between 5 and 7 kilos, about 10 to 15 pounds, to increase the challenge. Consistency is key to achieving lasting results. Instead of trying to progress quickly, it is more effective to follow a gradual approach, increasing the time and intensity of your exercises week by week. This allows your body to adapt without overloading, reducing the risk of injury and improving performance. Squats are part of progressive training, which science recognizes as one of the best strategies to reverse muscle loss and maintain functionality over time. Second, crunch. The modified crunch is an effective exercise for strengthening the core focusing primarily on the rectus abdominis, the muscle responsible for the six-pack look. However, beyond aesthetics, this exercise is essential for developing trunk stability and improving posture. A strong core is crucial for reducing back pain and providing proper support for the body, especially as we age. To perform the modified crunch correctly, start by lying on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Place your hands on your thighs for better control and stability. Before starting the movement, activate your core muscles by pulling your belly button towards the ground, which creates a slight pelvic tilt. 
This helps position the lower back correctly and can relieve tension in the area. During the movement, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, gently lift your shoulder blades off the ground, focusing on engaging your abdominal muscles rather than your neck. Lift as high as you comfortably can, holding the top position for one second before slowly lowering yourself back down as you inhale. The movement should be controlled, with an emphasis on quality rather than quantity. Two sets of 15 repetitions are a good starting point. If you experience tension in your neck, you can lightly support your hands behind your head, but avoid pulling with them. The effort should come from your core. For those seeking more of a challenge, you can place a weight on your chest or increase the number of repetitions. On the other hand, a simpler variation would be the partial crunch, where you lift only your head and shoulders about two to three centimeters off the ground, while still feeling your core engaged. In addition to strengthening the trunk, this exercise improves overall body stability and makes everyday tasks, such as standing up and maintaining good posture, easier. It is also an excellent complement to lower back health, as a well-developed core distributes loads more effectively throughout the body, relieving pressure on the lower back. Third, reverse lunge. The reverse lunge is an effective movement for strengthening the legs and glutes, while also working on flexibility and balance. Although similar to squats, lunges add an extra challenge by requiring greater stability control during the movement. Additionally, they engage the muscles of the back and core, helping to relieve pressure on the spine and reducing the risk of back pain, which becomes increasingly important with age. To perform the reverse lunge correctly, start with your feet shoulder-width apart, and if necessary, use a chair or countertop for support. Keep your back straight and take a larger-than-normal step backwards. Your front leg should bend to form a 90-degree angle, while your back leg rests on the toes and also bends as much as possible. There's no need for your back knee to touch the floor. Maintain a distance of about 3 to 5 centimeters to keep control of the movement. As you lower yourself, keep your body aligned, imagining a straight line connecting your back and neck. Activating your core is essential to ensure stability and prevent strain on your lower back. Once you reach the lowest point, inhale and slowly rise back up, returning to the starting position. Alternate legs with each repetition, aiming for 10 repetitions on each side. For those with knee pain or arthritis, a good option is to perform mini lunges, lowering only 25% of the way down. With time and practice, you can gradually increase the depth and number of repetitions. For those looking to intensify the exercise, let go of the support and add 5 kilograms, about 10 pounds, dumbbells in each hand, increasing the challenge and muscle engagement. Regular practice of lunges not only improves leg strength and stability but also enhances bone density, helping to reduce the risk of osteoporosis. Additionally, strengthening the hips and knees boosts mobility, making daily activities like walking and climbing stairs easier. The next exercise is the modified push-up, an excellent way to strengthen the upper body by engaging the chest, shoulders, and triceps, as well as activating the core. This exercise not only improves the strength needed to push, pull, and carry objects, but also contributes to overall body stability, making everyday tasks easier. The modified version is ideal for beginners and offers a safe way to start. Place your hands on the ground, slightly wider than shoulder width apart, and keep your knees on the floor, forming a straight line from your head to your knees. Inhale as you bend your elbows, lowering your body toward the ground until your chest is close to the floor. As you exhale, push yourself back to the starting position, keeping your core engaged and your body aligned throughout the movement. It's recommended to start with two sets of 10 repetitions. For those with shoulder limitations or reduced mobility, the wall version is an excellent alternative. Stand facing the wall with your feet about 30 centimeters, 12 inches away, and place your hands on the wall at shoulder width. Bend your elbows to bring your chest closer to the wall, then gently push yourself back. To increase the difficulty, try moving your feet further from the wall or using the edge of a countertop for support. For those who already have more strength and want to progress, the full push-up is a more challenging option. In this version, your feet stay on the ground and your body must remain aligned from your head to your heels. It is essential to keep your core engaged to prevent your hips from dropping or your lower back from becoming overstrained. Gradual progression is key, 
start slowly and increase the number of repetitions as you build endurance. Regardless of the version you choose, push-ups are a powerful exercise for developing functional upper body strength while also promoting a stronger core and better posture. The final exercise on our list is the glute bridge, essential for developing strength in the glutes and lower back, promoting greater stability and mobility. It is particularly important because it helps with essential daily activities, such as standing up from chairs, getting out of bed, and climbing stairs, ensuring more independence as we age. Additionally, it strengthens the core, relieving pressure on the lower back and preventing back pain. To perform the glute bridge, lie on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on the floor, hip width apart. Place your arms along your sides, palms facing down, for added stability. Engage your core by pulling your belly button slightly toward the floor. Inhale, and as you exhale, press your heels into the ground and lift your hips, squeezing your glutes at the top of the movement. It is not necessary to form a perfectly straight line. Just raise your hips as far as feels comfortable. Hold this position for a few seconds, ensuring that both your glutes and core remain engaged. Then, lower your hips in a controlled manner as you inhale. Ideally, start with two sets of 10 repetitions, gradually increasing as your strength and control improve. For a greater challenge, try the single leg variation. Lift one leg off the ground while performing the movement. This version demands more from the stabilizer muscles, intensely activating the side glutes. For those who need a gentler approach, begin by focusing only on glute contractions while keeping your hips close to the floor. As your strength builds over time, you can increase the height of the lifts. The glute bridge is an excellent way to ensure functionality and mobility, while also strengthening essential muscles for an active life. Incorporating this exercise into your routine is an investment in your independence and well-being, making daily tasks easier and reducing the risk of injury. Now, here are two crucial tips to ensure you perform the exercises safely and maximize your results. First, always keep your core muscles engaged throughout the movement. This helps protect the lower back and improve stability. Second, avoid excessive arching of the lower back. Maintain control and perform each movement smoothly and consciously, without rushing, respecting your body's limits. These simple practices not only ensure better performance but also prevent injuries. Now that you know these essential exercises for your routine, we want to hear from you. Which one did you like the most? Or is there an exercise you already practice and would like to share? Leave a comment below. Your experience might inspire others to start to. If you're interested in improving your health and intimate performance, you can't miss the video now appearing on your screen. We'll talk about an exercise few people know about, but that can make a big difference in your performance and size. I'll see you there.